Hello, and welcome to another Poker Openings. Today, we have a mysterious box in front of us. That's right, I've gone ahead and bought some Crown Zenith collection boxes, but that's not all. As I also have in this box two Sitting Cuties Pokemon plushes. There was a promotion on the Pokemon Center website recently, where if you spent £30 or more, you would get one random fire type Sitting Cuties plush. So, that's kind of exciting, and it got me finally to buy some Crown Zenith stuff. So I've opened the box up a little bit so that I don't have to spend all my time cutting into it. So I'm going to pull out the collection boxes, and we are going to keep the plushes till last. Uh, I think I just saw a very brief flash of one of the plushes, but I will censor that in this video so you won't have seen that. But this is the thumbnail shot, which I'll go ahead and do in a second, actually. But these are um, Chrome Tundra, uh, Chrome Zenith, not Chrome Tundra, sorry. This is the Reggie Drago V Box and the Reggie Lecky V Box. Obviously, these were the two uh, in Chrome's, uh, the Chrome Tundra, I think, was the DLC. These were the two newly added Reggies. So I'm gonna go off and. I've just realised, wait, are the promos meant to be... Oh! I just realised that the promos are kind of switched. Okay, that's cool. We'll take a look at that in a second. Anyway, I'm going to go off and blatantly spend several minutes now taking a thumbnail. Alright, I am back. So, let's break into these boxes. So we'll take a quick look. This is the Reggie Lecky one. Reggie Lecky's very cute. That is the side. It's got the electric boy himself. If you want to pause the uh, video to see the description there, uh, it mentions a force field, which I guess he makes from electricity. Uh, and this is the Reggie Drago box. Again, we got that dragon boy on the side with the, the dots. This one mentions a draconic laser beam, which I, I think is a move, right, that he can do? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's begin with the Reggie Lecky box. So, I was going to meet up with friends Tim and Tom, thank you guys very much for watching this, by the way, uh, on Discord with me, on the Watch Together kind of app thing. Uh, we were just going to meet up and do it, but my webcam's not particularly good, so I thought, you know what, I'd prefer to do this with, like, higher, higher quality video, so we can all see the cards, and I don't have to see them backwards. So I'm not going to take them out of the packages, but... This is the Reggie Lecky V promo. And then this is the Reggie Drago card, which very much confused me. Uh, so, and then obviously Reggie Drago comes with that. And of course, everyone's favourite thing, it is an oversized card. It's, I'll, I'll find a use for these one day, maybe, possibly, or not. Uh, and of course, the main attraction is four packs of Crown Zenith. Oh. Are the designs all the same? Actually, you know what? I think friend of the channel Tim might have mentioned that to me before. But yeah, okay, it's old shield doggy boy. Right, I'm gonna go put this to the side and we'll get into the Reggie Drago box. All right, let's get into this box. So uh, I've not opened any Crown Zenith, which is another reason I wanted to do this video because uh, it seems a pretty cool set. It seems like the type of things I'd quite like. It's got an art gallery subset thing in it. That is Reggie Drago's uh, V promo. And that is the regular Reggie Lecky. Very cool. And that is the oversized one, if you want a slightly higher quality look, I guess, at Reggie Drago. And of course, what's this? There are four packs of Crown Zenith. So, yeah, um, I think the pack designs are all the same, which is interesting and kind of weird. It is a limited set, so I guess it makes sense. So, we've got eight packs to go through. Uh, I'll clear all this up, and then we'll open them. All right. So, I'm going to start with the Sword and Shield Legendary pack. <laughs> Get it? It's, it's a funny joke, because that's, that's what they all are. Um, I'm assuming the card trick is the same for this set. Uh, this is the very last Sword and Shield set as well, so that's, you know, it's kind of sad, kind of exciting to see what the future will hold. Uh, so, I know 
Tim did manage to pull, I want to say it's a Bibarel art uh, art card. So basically a trainer gallery. But right, let's begin with a Dusclo uh, Dusclops. Very cool. Ooh, we've got some shoes. We've got some tracking shoes. That's what I'm here for. Ah, Friends in Sinnoh. That is really cool, actually. I really like that card. I always appreciate a nice trainer ensemble. Uh, we've got a Salandit. Very cool. Wait, is that a... Uh, oh, no. I thought it had a like single strike thing on it for a second. <laughs> Purloin, uh, get off that laptop, please. I am working. I am editing this video. <laughs> I don't have a cat, but still. Uh, we have a Grubbin. A Skrelp. Ooh. Wow, very busy art there. That's really cool. Hey, a Helioptile. He looks happy. Ooh, ooh, yo, let's go. Okay, we've got a Radiant Eternatus. That is quite the pull <laughs> to start the video off. Okay, okay, wow. Um, I'm gonna grab some sleeves in a second. I didn't, I didn't grab sleeves. What is wrong with me? Yo, so that is Shiny Eternatus. Very cool. Uh, yo, what the heck? And we got a Rayquaza VMAX. Holy, wow. Well, this box was worth it, whatever box this one came from. What a back-to-back -back pull. Dude. Okay, right, I'm going to go grab some sleeves, BRB. All right, that's the pull corner. Uh, right, well, I mean, we've started unbelievably strong here. Um, I, don't, I don't really think we can particularly top that. Uh, I'd like some art art gallery cards or whatever they're called though, so that that would be nice maybe. But I will absolutely take a radiant card as well. Uh, I wasn't filming it, but I did pull a radiant Greninja uh, a few weeks ago. That was pretty cool because shiny Grenin Greninja is pretty nice. Ooh, <gasps> hey, we can't guess the energy because it's not an energy. It's a V star. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. So. Let's begin. Oh, friends in ah, friends in Hisui. So that's like the other, the other version of friends in Sinnoh. That is really cool. We've got a Carnivine, uh, everyone's favourite fly trap. We've got a Lost Vacuum. I, I want to say that was in Lost or uh, Lost Origin as well, right? Hey, we got a Cricket Hot, the boy. We've got a sh oh, that's a Rapid Strike. Okay, they, they've kept the Rapid Strike thing in then. Got a Shinx just messing with someone's book. Don't don't do that, Shinx. Stop. We've got a Galarian Mr. Mime. <laughs> okay, let's get out of the way. We've got a Sunken. Look at that. Happy sunny boy. We've got a ah, oh, that's very that's a very cute coughing. That is very nice. Okay, we've got a regular reverse, I guess. We've got a Bidoof. Very nice. Always happy to have a Bidoof though. You can never have a bad Bidoof card. And our rare is a non hollow Dragalge. Honestly, following the last pack, absolutely okay with that. And being as this is my first foray into Crown Zenith, I don't have any of these rares, so I mean, I'm not against, you know, pulling non hollow rares, which are going to be a thing of the past, because uh, come uh, uh, Scarlet and Violet, uh, there is a guaranteed hollow, I want to say. Oh, or is it like guaranteed two hollows or something? And I want to say like one of the hollows could be, you know, a V or full art or whatever, stuff like that. Uh, kind of following a lot of things like Cardfight Vanguard, which does the same. I'm going to say it's a grass energy. Oh, yo, let's go. Okay. That means good luck with luck, luck, C, C O L U C K I O, get it? Luck with an S, you know what I mean. We've got an electric. We've got a rescue carrier. That was in the last set as well, or the set before, right? Oh, Switch! God, it's been a while since I've seen a Switch card, actually. Um, I'm sure I'm just blanking on other sets. There probably have been a lot, but... Okay, we've got a Snorrent. We've got a Lava Star. Very cute. Ah, a Tangler with, with some stuff. He's, he's grabbing them berries. Ooh, we've got a ball toy. Very cool. Right, next might be reversed, right? <gasps> Yo! Okay. Um, oh, I, I wasn't... I guess because there is a limited set, so this is like... 
So it's not numbered, um, but limited sets do give you reverse uh, energies. That is really nice. I'm always happy with the reverse energy, even though they're not like hype or anything. And our rare is a double. Very nice. Uh, Non-hollow, but still another card I do not have. Right, I'm just going to uh, move my chair a little bit and it'll be oddy. All right. So we are almost halfway through this uh, extravaganza of Chrome Zenith. It is essentially, basically, an Elite Trainer box. Um, I don't think they did do an Elite Trainer box, though, of Chrome Zenith. No, wait, no, they did, right? Maybe? I don't know. Correct me in the comments below, or Tim, you can tell me whilst we're watching this through Discord. Um, either way, I haven't bought anything yet. From this set, ooh, another grass energy, okay. So we begin with a Great Ball. Oh, Solrock, it's been a while since I've seen him. We got them shoes again. We got, ah, oh, Oddish, now, oh, very cute. Ooh, that's a cool looking seal. Ooh, Portion, very classic again, kind of bringing back the classic cards, I guess. We've got an Aeron, a Corfish is the next one. Ooh. That's interesting, so Shaman is a normal, uh, reverse Shaman sky form, specifically. So I guess maybe Shaman is grass, but sky form is flying, and there's no flying type, so it's a normal. Very interesting. And... Ooh! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I, I've never had such a roller coaster of emotions. Like, yo, let's go! It's a V-Star! It's a semi a V-Star. Who put this in the set? Who... Who is in charge of this? I mean, it's I'll take a V star, I guess. Oh, I don't. Okay, yeah, cool. But there you go. I mean, it's got a texture to it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're a big monkey fan, uh, as in like the the elemental monkeys, not not this monkey. Sorry for the edit there. I just went off and um, just thought about life. Really, is I mean. <sighs> Should I be happy? Should I be sad? Um, let me know in the comments below. If you think I should ha be happy, then then uh, hit the the bell sub subscribe the sub the bell subscribe button. Hit the bell subscribe button. Subscribe to the bell. Um, not me. Fine. There's probably a channel called the Bell, right? That'd be cool news. Uh, and, and an idea for a news channel. There we are. You're you're free to use that if you want to set up a new new news themed YouTube channel. Wow, this is the third grass energy in a row now. And we got Carnivine again. Ooh, we've got Salazzle. We've got a Rescue Carrier again. Ah, Love Disc. It's a heart. Valentine's Day was recently. Did you do anything special? I don't care. It's Chatot. It is Yanma. We have Ponyard. Isn't no. Next, yay! We've got regular doof. We've got, I've got the master set of the doof. I'd like a barrel actually. Uh, we are instead getting a reverse salazzle, and ending with the dragalge. Uh, that is, that is, that is a double. Um, that is the second dragalge we have pulled now. But to be fair, I pulled a radiant, a V Max, and a V Star. Already, I think we're doing pretty well. Three packs left. Can we, can we finish this off with something hype? I mean, we're going to, because there's a sitting cutie um, plushy extravaganza coming up. Can it, can it be an extravaganza with just two things? I guess so. Depends if you're hyped or not. Uh, I am very hyped. I know what one of them is. I did order a specific sitting cutie, so I'll show you guys that one first. Then we'll go on to the mystery one. So. F wow. Okay. Is this like a weird curse? Are we just getting grass energies? So we've got an Ultra Ball. We've got a Luxio again. We've got a Gloom. Wow. Gloom, you 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 doing you doing good? You, you wanna talk? Ah oh, we got Cheruby. Very cute. I love Cheruby. Hey, we've got a Starly. I don't know why I said A really. We've got a switch. Oh, I thought that was an uncommon, but I guess not. We've got an execute. Very cute. Uh, next up is Love Disc, which is not the reverse. I always do this. Next up, ooh, is Raihan. Oh, right. Okay, now Tim pulled one of these whilst we were on call. 
they're like autographed. Um, so the Marnie like premium collection, which we did a video on a while ago, also had like an autographed thing. So this is a autographed Raihan card. I don't know if every Raihan trainer, even non-reverse, comes with this, or if this is like slightly special, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below. Oh. Okay, so I'm guessing this comes in hollow as well then, because we got a B, and that's an autographed B card. Or B? B? I call her B, but then maybe that's not how you meant to pronounce it. Okay, that's really cool. I, I really like this gimmick. That's, um... If you're going to make trainers hollow, and, like, put them in the rare slot, especially if it's, like, a limited set, you, you need to be doing something a bit special, so that's really cool. Right. Last two packs, and keep the top left to the end, because I reckon there's something good in there. I, th there won't be, uh, but, you know, you, you never know. To be fair, we've had some good pulls. I mean, we've got two of those autographed uh, gym trainer cards. Uh, gym trainer? Gym leaders cards, so that's pretty cool. Will we pull another grass energy, I wonder? I'm going to say fighting, but I think we're going to get grass again, and it is... Oh, it, it's psychic! Let's go! It is different! So, we have... Ah, Digging Duo! If you've played the DLC, you'll have, you'll have spoken to them a couple hundred times. We've got Giraffe Rig. Uh, that is Tim's favourite Pokémon. Shout out to Tim. I think I've mentioned like three times in the video now, so you are welcome. We've got a Pinchurchin. Pin... Pinch... Yeah, Pinchurchin. We've got a Shinx. That, that Mr. Mime is back, that Sunkern's back too, that Coffin's back too, that Bidoof is back, uh, that's fine though, that's, uh, it, you can bring all of your friends, Bidoof, honestly. Uh, we have a Reverse Graveler, cool, okay, that, that's really nice actually, yeah, that, that's very uh, cool, and we have a Blossom Rare, non-hollow, but she's cute, so it doesn't matter. All right, we have one pack left. Will we end on something truly legendary? I mean, we're not going to be a Radiant and a V Max, I don't think. But we could do, I guess. I don't know how many cards are in this set, actually. Being limited, they tend to be a bit smaller. But they do tend to also give you, like, more odds, I think, of getting the cool stuff. I've destroyed that pack. Will we have a grass energy? Let's see. Ooh, no, it's... I feel like the first pack was Psychic too, right? Is it just Psychic and grass? We've got Crushing Hammer. Ultra Ball. We've got a Gloom again. He's back. He's back! you got a Sunken. We've got a Coughing. We, hey, we... Oh, no, no, we did pull our dish. Uh, I'd like a Vile Plume, I guess. That would be cool. We've got a Salandit, so this is the last chance for... Uh, no, we have a Heliolisk. Uh, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. I, I, so I sort of like Heliolisk. And the final card is a non hollow Taurus. Well, I, okay, cool. I mean, hey, okay, we've got... We pulled some fire, literally in the first pack. This was... One hell of a pack. I'm glad I got this on video, honestly, because this is like... Back-to-backs like this are very rare. Uh, right, I'm going to go clean up the table, and then I'll be right back so we can see the sitting cuties. All right, the box is here. So, I think I can feel the one I specifically ordered. So we'll take a look at this first, unless this isn't it. And that is... Hey! It is Unknown S. I'll take him out of his packaging. All right, so there he is. So um, I've kind of, I've been tempted to get some of the unknown sitting cuties for a while because I, I love unknown. They're just so strange and kind of useless in the game. Uh, also, the Pokemon Center card is the size of him. Now, you might be thinking, how, how, does, how does an unknown sit down? <laughs> well, uh, he, he, he doesn't, he just lies down. I mean, you could sort of lean him against a wall, I guess? They're cute. I mean, they're, they're kind of small. They have a few beans in them and stuff to give them weight. I don't know really uh, how you'd display unknown apart from leaning them against a wall, but then they are letters come to life. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense 
you know, while you lean it against a wall. So, next up is the Fire Type Sitting Cutie. So, this was from a random selection. There were a few examples given, I think. Um, and I, I don't know if... There, there was like eight or ten of them. I really would like a Slugma. I think there were like Torchic, Flareon. There were a few different ones. So, the Sitting Cutie Fire Type I got. Ah! It, ooh, this is this is open. It is nine tails. Hang on, let's chuck that to the side. Ah, that's very cute. Now let's count the tails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. Ah, and because this is a sitting cutie and sort of it's quite hefty to be honest. Um, it sort of hang on. Let me just move this box. We don't need this anymore. That is very cute. She does seem to be leaning on the side, not gonna lie. Um, kind of kind of go into sleep or whatever. But yeah, honestly, for a um I wanna say like four, five inch plushie or whatever, that is quite detailed. Uh, I know you know Nine Tails is very popular with um with Pokemon fans, I guess. Yeah, not necessarily one of my favourites, but I will absolutely take it. That is very cute. So there we are. There is the two boys, the two friends. I do also have a Porygon, but I'm too lazy to get that. There we are. See, so unknown's just chilling, and ah, that looks very, looks very comfy. Right. Well, with that, thank you guys very much for watching. I will be doing other Poco openings in the future. The Scarlet and Violet set is out in like September, no, July. August? I can't remember. It's out sometime this year, and when that comes out, I will be opening some. Maybe featuring Tim. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that wraps it up. I'll leave a playlist to the other Poke Openings videos up there. I'll leave YouTube. Choose a random one down there. And I will let you get on with it. Thank you guys very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye!